सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू डेटा साइंस इन पॉकेट आफ्टर डीप सीक आर वन एंड डीप सीक वी थ्री डीप सीक हैज नाउ रिलीज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रिसर्च पेपर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज नेटिव स्पार्स अटेंशन विच इज एन एडवांस अटेंशन मैकेनिज्म फॉर एल एल एम्स विच कैन इम्प्रूव देयर कॉन्टेक्स्ट लेंथ द इनपुट दैट दे कैन इनटेक सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पेपर फोकस इज ऑन हाउ यू कैन इंक्रीज द कॉन्टेक्स्ट लेंथ बाई ट्वीकिंग अप विद द अटेंशन मैकेनिज्म बाई इंट्रोड्यूसिंग एन एस ए दैट इज native sparse attention so in this particular video we will be trying to understand nsa the paper is very complicated so i would be skipping a little bits of the technical depth and i will try to just summarize what they are trying to do in native sparse attention but the impact is huge and it can now improve the long context range of your llms so let's get started so first of all let's try to understand what is native sparse attention it is a natively trainable sparse attention mechanism do focus on the word sparse that is it is not dense most of the values would be zero designed to address the challenge of efficient long context modeling so if you have heard of kimi 1.5 that has come in recently and even deep seek also these models have huge context lens so they are now trying to focus on how to increase the context length of llms it employs a dynamic hierarchical sparse strategy that combines coarse grain token compression i will be explaining everything so don't worry about it so first of all let's try to understand its key features it involves combining smart compression and selection the model uses shortcuts for grouping similar information and selectively focusing on important part it doesn't focus on everything but on group of information and that to in sparse nature reducing the amount of data the model needs to process without losing critical context hardware friendly i think they have mentioned how they have designed the kernel for this particular thing so for nsa understanding of gpu kernel is a little important and it has been optimized for hardware as well end to end trainable sparsity unlike previous method that sped up only inferencing this model learns to be sparse during training adaptively deciding what important to focus on balance between global and local attention i think this is coming up in most of the papers now that the particular nsa native sparse attention has three branches of uh, attention that is global local they have mentioned the three parallel branches and a combination of the two also so this will help you to understand different parts of the algorithm so, so it is not focusing on everything it is not focusing on just keywords it is focusing on the text in multiple dimensions i will be talking about that too and significant speed ups without losing accuracy so first of all let's try to understand the, the major concept that they have introduced that is three attention paths compressed lens global view it quickly summarizes parts of the story capturing the main idea selected lens important details it picks out key sentences or moments in the story that are crucial for the plot and sliding lens this focuses on the recent parts of the story so one is a global summary other is a selective key highlights and third one is the most recent information so these are the three attention paths that nsa has and it then combines all these three views to get to a final attention the algorithm is designed into these three uh, pillars as we mentioned earlier also the three attention paths so first is token compression so in case of token compression what the model does i'm just giving you a brief idea how it is performed so you group different tokens together and create a summary this is what you call as token compression instead of looking at individual token you are grouping similar tokens and then creating a summary out of it this summary helps you to understand the main idea without going to each token one by one token selection once each of the group of tokens is summarized which one which blocks of tokens to pick this is token selection and then sliding window helps us with the recent information even when the model is looking at large blocks of information in the first two steps it also keeps an eye on the most recent parts so that it can update itself so these are the three ways uh, the three steps in the algorithm design now talking about the hardware optimization that nsa brings in so it helps it has an improvised kernel design so before we jump on to the kernel design of nsa let's understand what is kernel in brief so gpu is a super fast worker in a factory a kernel is like a set of instruction given to the worker to the gpu to perform specific tasks such as assembling parts or solving calculation so kernel can be taken as a very small program that runs on the top of gpu for efficient processing right so the uh, kernel design of nsa has three key main features one is group centric data loading so instead of loading data from different sites uh, it is loading the data in groups 
so given this example assume worker to be the gpu think of the worker needing to get tools from different toolboxes that means from different sites you need to fetch out the data from different sites instead of fetching the tools one by one the worker is told to grab the entire data set all together this way the worker spends less time moving between toolboxes shared kv fetching so i think kv you must be knowing from attention qkv matrices this is now very popular so instead of creating kv for their own each worker each node in the gpu is using the same kv uh, kv catch hence uh, reducing computational power outer loop on grid the tasks are divided into a grid like a game board the worker can move efficiently across different parts of the grid completing similar tasks this helps the worker avoid confusion and works systematically so a grid has been laid down for similar tasks and eventually you can now move on to similar tasks rather than jumping from a to z something like this so these are the three key main features in the kernel design of nsa i think this would be a little tricky to understand so even if you don't wish you can skip this part no worries talking about the experimentation uh, nsa has been tested on a 27 billion parameter transformer backbone and the results are looking good on general evaluation these are the met uh, these are the data set it has been tested on long context evaluation also looks great achieves perfect retrieval accuracy on a 64k context needle in a haystack test so these are the name of tests you can ignore this chain of the thought reasoning evaluation demonstrate better performance and full attention mechanism so this is interesting so as you can see here even on general evaluation long context evaluation and chain of thought evaluation the model is looking quite good talking about the efficiency analysis achieves substantial speed ups over full attention so it is faster than full attention and on some of the metrics it is even better as chain of thought reasoning now coming to our last and the most important section how nsa is different from transformer nsa is better at long context handling for sure it is better optimized for kernels end to end trainability nsa is design, design allow the model to learn optimal sparse patterns unlike baselines which often train with full attention and, and apply sparsity post hoc so basically what we do we take up a transformer, we full train it, and then eventually go for fine tuning. In case of NSA, you can go straight away with fine tuning. Balance attention mechanism, it combines a combination of global context, local context, the most recent context. In case of the baseline transformer, there's just one sort of an attention. Reduced memory footmart. I think this is important because right now inferencing of LMs is such a pain point. And superior performance on some task. But uh, grass is always green, uh, green on the other side. Transformers are still the king because of the easy implementation. The community has matured so much that uh, bringing in a new architecture would be a complete pain point for everyone. Legacy system compatibility, we all know it. Non-sparse data patterns for sequences with uniform distributed attention. Full attention may capture all relationships. Interpretability, full attention matrices provide transparent insights. In case of NSA, when you are going for a sparse mechanism, understanding of uh, the matrices becomes a little problematic. And precision short context. NSA can be a great gun for long context, but if you are working with short context, I think usually 80 or 90% of the task uh, doesn't involve this huge context. In that case, I think transformers are still the king. So just parting words, NSA looks great. Coming from DeepSeek, I think it's equal. it should be equally valued also because they were the ones who introduced reinforcement learning for uh, LLMs training which led to the US stock market crash so this uh, you should not be ignoring the new architecture that the team is proposing around native sparse attention the idea looks great and uh, they are also trying to figure out how this can be optimized they have mentioned multiple things in the paper but the paper is a little technical so I have left out some of the sections from it I hope you read the paper and try understanding it thank you so much